Hey everybody, this is Beth and Cool Prisoner 93. Hey guys. And we're making a quick video because um I don't often get like I do get comments a little bit on my videos and I appreciate it, ladies, thank you. Um but I tend to get more like private messages where people will just for some reason private message me and ask me a question. So one of the questions that I think I've gotten maybe twice now is um, people asking why we homeschool. So um, this might not be a good video for us to make because I don't know that we really know. Some people always knew they wanted to homeschool and we yeah. were not, we yeah. were not like that. It's not like we were like that. It's not like I, you know, raised him always thinking he'd be homeschooled. So, um, so yeah, so I guess I'll have him tell you a little bit about what his experience was in public school and then if I need to add anything, I will, and then we'll move on to how homeschooling came about and see where it goes from there. So go ahead and start, I guess, right? Is that a good place to start? We'll start with what you thought of public school. Uh, I really like public school. Um, it was fun. I had a bunch of friends. Uh, the main thing, though, definitely of all of it, not just like academic-wise, is that it, the school was just way too easy. I don't know, it, like, if it was a mixture trip, I was just like automatically big, being taught like in, this in everyday life, or it just came to me that easily. It was a little bit of a mixture of both, but it was just so easy, and it was just so boring because we would just stay on like a fraction like I understand that you know I understand that you know a half with a half equals one you know what I like two over two equals one but they would just do it for like a month on end and I just I don't know I really didn't like it, it wasn't interesting it wasn't fun at all so yeah so I didn't like that so then um one time take it over <laughs> um so I guess from like a parental point of view um like that's we have yeah we have like similar but like wildly different interpretations of the same thing yeah. so um so from a parental point of view um I can honestly say maybe it's bad parenting but before this all came about you know he was in kindergarten first grade second grade like he was passing and knew how to read and write and do math and I was like great school is great for you like it didn't occur to me that there should be more to it, I guess, or that it should be more challenging. Plus, parent-teacher conferences, his teachers would always say, like, oh, wait till he gets to third grade, everything will get harder in third grade, and all the kids, even out in third grade, because you must be teaching him at home or helping him at home, and I wasn't. He had all these, you know, just stupid things, like spelling tests. Like, we never really studied for a spelling test, did we? And he, you know what I mean? Like it just, it wasn't really something he had to work at, but it was something that he wanted to work at. So it wasn't until he got into like maybe third grade that his, I don't even know what to call it, his dislike of school started to affect Adrian. his like behavior or attitude at school where he would get in trouble for not focusing or <sighs> fidgeting or like all that kind of stuff yeah more fidgety things than anything so um and every time I tried to you know you talk to his teachers and stuff like that and they would tell me like he's not ADD he's definitely not ADD or ADHD he just can't sit still and I don't know I just they weren't I feel like they weren't there that helpful um and even his school I don't even know what she is, psychologist or counselor, like, I would go in and talk to her, and I would say, like, okay, this is what he's telling me his school day's like. There must be other kids that feel this way. And she would, like, straight up look me in the face and be like, nope, nope, all the other kids just sit through the day and they're fine. And I don't know if that's just false or if, whatever. Either way, it wasn't helpful in the least. But at the time, homeschooling wasn't an option. I was working, yes. and he was in school. Um, I'm a single mom, like, yes. there's, you know, there was no one, he couldn't just be left here, so it just wasn't an option. And then it wasn't until, um, this past fall where, um, I had the opportunity to start, I do the same job I did before, but I do it from home. And as soon as that option came up, 
I feel like you mentioned homeschooling. I that, that was something you... Did I? I'm just saying, I feel like you immediately were like, that's something I want to do. Yeah. Like, you were immediately I, I, on board with, the whole with wanting thing. to homeschool. I still, and it, I still wanted to keep my friends and everything like that. I just wanted to do schoolwork at home. Yeah. So, um... So, yeah. So, that is something that, obviously, like, he was worried about. Like, he didn't have a ton of, like close friends well his school also the town we live in has like eight elementary schools yeah, so really you good. only go to elementary school with the kids that live like right down the road from you so there's like a handful of kids that he you know would hang out with or continue to hang out with but he wanted to do academics at home and because I was going to start working from home I was like let's just try it if worse comes to worse and we hate it or it doesn't work or whatever then you can go back to school and I think everyone thought we were crazy, right? Yes. I, everyone, your Definitely. grandparents, your aunt, your dad, even at, even at school, all his family, you, the people at school, everyone thought we were crazy, right? Yeah. On the bus, I, I was so. like, "Hey, starting December of this year, I want to start being homeschooled." They're like, "Um, really? I don't believe you." <laughs> and I said it to them one day, and I was like, "Man, I'm not even gonna come back to the school." And the next day, they're probably like, "Well, where is he?" <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so that's the only reason why I don't know if this is altogether interesting or helpful is because, um, like I said, it's not like it's something that either of us were raised with or thought that it was a situation that we would do. It's something that sort of just came about and it seemed like a good situation given our circumstances at the time. Yeah. So, um, hopefully he can keep going right now. He's 10. So if I were to have to stop working from home, we would have to figure something else out because he's not old enough yet to do his own school day. Although he's good at it, but he's not to. He's focused sometimes and he's not focused sometimes. If hopefully, like my sort of short term goal, this is like my bare minimum of if we could do this, it would be great. My as long as he wants to keep homeschooling. If he woke up tomorrow and wanted to go back to school, he could go back to school. It's up to no. him. But um, my short-term goal is to um, is to be able to get him through middle school and therefore hopefully a couple years older than what he is now. And then hopefully he'll be of an age where even if I had to do a work day, I could leave him with stuff to do at the beginning of the day go to work, he could do his school, and then when I come home, I'll check his stuff. Like, I think that would be possible, and he's definitely mature enough, but I think I would want him to get a couple years older before I would want to do that. So hopefully our circumstances will stay the same, like I said, as long as he wants to keep homeschooling, which he seems to so far. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I mean, is that basically the long and short of it? That's oh, why we homeschool. Yeah, pretty much. I will say that um, it there is definitely... Okay, I guess this might be a good time to say the pros and cons of homeschooling, at least from my mind. Mm -hmm. And then I you can a, say too. I have a trouble. So one of the negatives... one of the ne Okay, one of them is a positive and negative. One of the things about homeschooling and the fact that... Okay, is that we are together all day every day. That is a positive because um, I like hanging out with him. That is a negative because it's hard when you're just always together yeah, all day, every day. Each other. Yeah. So we definitely um, we definitely argue a little bit more, yes. but we definitely get along. I think better too. More too, yes, because we're together yeah. more instead of we would just be gone for eight hours a day and then come home and eat dinner and go to sleep. Yeah, so we definitely get along better, but we definitely, when we fight, we definitely sort of fight more too. I don't know if that yes. makes sense, but it is tricky. It's tricky to just be alone yeah. with each other all day, every day. Yeah. Like it's a different, it's just a different it's situation. Different. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, positive and negative, po more positive. Um, one of the absolute positive things about homeschooling is the things that you've gotten to try so far. Oh, yeah, all so, the electives and yeah, stuff, private, so it was all fun. 
um, things like private music lessons, which I guess not that he couldn't do it before, but he was in band, so I wouldn't have really thought about it. He took an acting class this past semester. He's taking philosophy and what are you taking? CSI and, oh, yeah. Forensics, yeah, and forensics and all the stuff that he gets to do now mm -hmm. rather than having to wait until the school says that it's time to learn that. Like, that's definitely, like, I think the biggest benefit yes. of homeschooling and the thing that I enjoy the most. The biggest negative, I would say, is it's hard for him to hang out with people, which I know when you tell people um, you're going to start homeschooling, the first thing people tell you is, oh, well, how is he going to be socialized? And it's not so much that he can't be socialized, but we do not belong to like a co-op or anything like that. If you belong to a co-op, it's not hard at all because he's going to see kids every day. We don't belong to a co-op, so we're slowly sort of meeting kids who have the same interests or that he can get along with that are good to have like play dates with and stuff like that. And it is hard to just find the opportunity if you can find them is good because then you have all day every day to make those play dates. You don't have to wait until the weekends and stuff like that. But it is, you know, just because two kids are homeschooled in the same age doesn't mean they're going to be become, you know, best friends. So yeah. um, you do have to still kind of take the time to like find the people that you want to be friends with and stuff like that. So um, I know he does in... I feel like, and he can speak for himself too, but I feel like um, he would trade the say he had like a handful of friends at public school and one friend now I would say that he would still trade the more friends for the closer friend that he has now yeah. because of homeschooling if that makes sense so yes. that's my point of view how about yours positive negative okay. I have a couple of things also going in that the one of my best friends that I have now is also like a complete gamer I like to like come up with my own plots for video games and we definitely like to you know talk about them together and he likes to add things so it's definitely very fun and um, one of our biggest issues was that um, I thought I might be able to stay with some of my old friends but then when I couldn't I actually I actually freaked out a little bit because I kind of still wanted friends also but it was nice that we got to meet um, that I got to meet other friends also um, actually I guess that's pretty much it actually everything else got covered pretty much so anyway long story short that is our sort of simplistic story oh, I do about have one more thing to add. okay um if this is about your I channel feel... this is not about my channel okay. this is about my <laughs> channel oh, okay um no i feel like it was definitely a little bit hard cuz like i said i kind of just like like just like got rid of all my old friends and then just like started new didn't have friends had to like wake up at 6 in the morning sometimes. We started off by having a uh, like set schedule, but now we just wake up when we don't really wake up. But I just like, I have to wake up and I'd have to do school here, like now with like a teacher and a bunch of them. So it was kind of hard to get used to it at first, but I feel now that we're used to it, it's definitely fun and a lot better than public school. Yeah. And how we homeschool has definitely changed. Like when we first started, like I... I was still trying to like wake up early and like whatever our, our circumstances have forced us to sort of like be a little bit more laid back and just sort of like kind of take things as they come and the same with his school day so everything's a little bit more relaxed in that regard which is probably me like I didn't really know how to homeschool and I you know when you first start homeschooling you have no idea what it is you think you have to run it like a classroom so it, yeah, it takes time to sort of like deprogram your brain on what you think has to be done compared to just what works well for you. Yeah. So, is that pretty much it in a nutshell? Uh, one more thing. Um, it is kind of on my channel, but it's not a plugin. It's, I feel I got to, actually, I've always wanted to be, like, I started getting into YouTube by the time we started homeschooling, like, watching people, and I definitely wanted to try it. So now that being homeschool, I can definitely try it. I've gotten collecting video games and a bunch of stuff like that. So, yeah. That's so, pretty, yeah. That's it. So, definitely him being able to, like, um, yeah, learn more about his different interests and, like, expand on his interests and have time to, like, look into that kind of stuff. So, anyway. So, that's pretty much it. That's why we homeschool. That's the story. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below, and we will see you next time. So, happy homeschooling, and bye, everybody.